the reason that yeah. we're using like or like that hydrogen like it just isn't like it's just not common because we have like the infrastructure for fuel like for gasoline and we have now a, a budding infrastructure for electricity but we just don't have like this like established industry or or is like of hydrogen or is it more complicated than just that it's more complicated okay, okay i mean that is part of it right it is an infrastructure problem um you know the reason we see lots of electric vehicles on the road battery electric vehicles on the road and not very many hydrogen fuel cell vehicles is the fact that you know i can plug in in my garage and charge overnight my you know pickup truck and i'm off to the races um most people can't do that with hydrogen mm -hmm. uh, there are very few hydrogen fueling stations you don't just have hydrogen coming up out of the ground here no oh, okay. unfortunately not um, <laughs> Um, so that goes back to you know the, the first question, which is where you get the hydrogen from. Sure. And if we say we want to decarbonize and get away from these fossil-derived sources of carbon, um, there are actually ways to get it. And I think the, the most important way is splitting water. If you think of the most abundant source of hydrogen on Earth being water, as far as that, that molecule, um, what does it take to separate yeah, water? Yeah, is that a difficult process? It's not difficult, all it takes is energy. Um, so you can use electricity um, to split or electrolyze water into hydrogen and oxygen. Mm. And that goes back to my original statement, which is think less of hydrogen as a fuel and more like an energy transport medium. 